Hi, in this particular video, we will be discussing about two of the most popular programming language that is the Python as well as the R programming language, which is quite popular across the globe and it has been used very often by most of the people like some software developers, data scientists, machine learning engineer in the field of machine learning, AI as well as software, right? So one common question to all the people that would hit on their mind is, if I want to make a career transition, which programming language should I opt for so that I can make a best out of it, right? This is one of the most commonly asked question. So let's get started with this. We have a few bunch of key points wherein we'll discuss and compare these two programming language. We'll see both pros and cons of both the languages and then come to an intuition of choosing which over what, right? So let's get started with this flow so we know what is a python so python is an interpreted high level general purpose programming language so interpreted high level general purpose basically states that the syntax to write python code requires minimal amount of knowledge of english programming high level language is nothing but a human understandable language because machine only understand binary right that is zeros and ones so it's a high level general purpose programming. Again, Python is a general purpose programming language because Python is not only used in the field of machine learning or AI, right? Because it is also used in software developments, game development, iOS development, some, and also some application development, right? Whereas in case of R, R is a programming language for statistical computing and graphic supported. So this is mainly used for some statistics purposes, wherein we are going to get an insights on some of the datas, right? So any given data, you use our programming language in order to get some good graph charts. Graphics basically here represents the charts, wherein we are going to get a high level intuition on what the data is and how they are performing, right? So Coming to the next point, it is used among data miners and statisticians for data analysis. That is the R programming language. So R programming languages is most often used by some of the statisticians in order to get some good insights on the data and also for the analysis of the data, right? Whereas in case of Python, Python supports multiple programming paradigms, right? Because since it is an also a high level general purpose programming language. This also enables the users or the programmers for the object oriented programming and functional programming. So it is giving you a wide platform to build more and more things than what you actually think it is, right? Cool. So R was first appeared in 1993. Whereas in case of Python, Python was developed late 1980s and it was released on 1991 as the first version of Python was named as Python 0.9.0. And Python became most popular and much popular in uh, early 2010s, right? So from the aspect of data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence, right? How, how would these two differ? Till now we had seen the history of these two programming languages, right? So this, that was the introductory part. So, Let's get to the aspect of data science or machine learning, right? So coming to this point, Python, the Python is mainly oriented towards the development and the production unit, right? Whereas in case of R programming language, it is mainly focusing on data analysis as well as statistics, right? Because we know, we know R programming languages provides a good insights on a graphical notation. That is, it provides a good chart, let's say pie chart, bar graph, line graph, etc. so on and so forth, right? Whereas in case of Python, it is not restricting to any one particular thing. It is giving you an end-to-end, -end, that is deployment and production unit. Coming to the R again, R, it is easy to use available library. So R has a bunch of a collection of libraries within itself. So it's quite easy to use the available library. Whereas in case of Python, the additional point, for the Python or the one hand greater that falls in the hands of Python is Python enables the user to easily construct a new models from scratch. That is apart from the code or apart from the functionalities that are being provided by the libraries, 
that are already present within the python data or python collections a user can also create his or her own models or own functionalities from scratch right so that's that's the key key point that would make python much better than r then the learning curve in r is basically non linear and it is quite difficult for a beginner to start with right whereas in case of python it's very linear and smooth because we all know that python syntax requires minimal knowledge of knowing common terminologies of english english language right then python is well integrated with apps now if you remember uh, some of the cloud based applications like amazon's aws microsoft's azure everything are well integrated with the python but r is integrated to run locally that is it is subjected or it is restricted to run in a particular machine itself that is local machine itself and not the, any other cloud or any other server based things right so r uses the ide that is the r studio whereas python is being supported by many ides that is the pycharm spider jupiter right and some additional key points on the python is code readability code readability is very very high because we all understand english right it's quite easy to read english terminologies than uh, getting different because r has a different syntax r itself is having its own very own syntax wherein we have to follow those procedures in order to run and execute a program in case of python it's quite easy if we know a bit of some of english terminologies it's uh, it's a cake walk right and we can also do some of the mathematical computation as discussed earlier it is easy to construct a new model from scratch right so any high high complex mathematical computation that you want to compute using python it's quite easy and coming to the speed part we all know python is super duper speed and it runs very very fast when compared to other programming language right so that's it for today thank you